let's try another uh, another sample exercise. So in this problem, they give you two initial pressures and the equilibrium constant, and they're asking for the equilibrium concentrations. And so you'll see that a lot with these problems. There's really only two types. Um, you have three variables. You have your um, initial concentration. So it's either going to be they're either going to give you initial, um, they're either going to give you initial and equilibrium, and you solve for the k, or they're going to give you initial and k, you solve for equilibrium. So the first type that we did, the, the previous exercise was, they give you initial and equilibrium, you have to find the other equilibrium concentrations used that solve for the k. In this problem, they give you initial and k, and they're asking about the equilibrium. Okay, so the first thing you do always you look at your reaction and you write your equilibrium constant expression. Um, so here, oops, right, so we're just going to do products over reactants again. Raised to the stoichiometric coefficients, everybody's one here, so that makes it nice and easy. Um, and that's a one, for, so for every one mole of this, we use up one mole of that. We make one mole of this, we make one mole of that. Uh, the equilibrium constant expression, so the equilibrium constant is 23.2. So they give us the K. We set up the expression, and now we can make our ice table. So they say if we start off with uh, two atmospheres of carbon dioxide um, and two for water, we don't have any of our products yet. Um, they're going to change by minus x, minus x. This is going to be plus x, plus and plus x. Um, so you're, again, you're subtracting the reactants because that's what you're starting with, uh, and you're adding the products because that's what you're making. So initially, you don't, you don't have any. Um, so that's why these are positive and these guys are negative. This is 1x, 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 1x because of the stoichiometry of the reaction. There's a 1 mole to 1 mole to 1 mole to 1 mole. Now in equilibrium, you just take whatever you started with. So I had 2 and my change to so minus x. And this is 2 minus x. And over here, this is 0 plus x, which is just x. And 0 plus x, which again is just x. Now I'm going to take this whole bottom row and plug that into my equilibrium constant expression over here, and then I'm going to solve for x. So you can see you only have one variable, it's just x. So when you plug all that in to your equilibrium constant expression, you get this x times x over 2 minus x times 2 minus x, uh, which is really x times x is x squared, and 2 minus x times 2 minus x is just 2 minus x squared. So this is pretty easy to solve. You just take the square root of both sides. So you end up with x over 2 minus x equals 4.82, so just take the square root of that. Um, and now solve for x. So if I take this part here, if I multiply both sides by, by the bottom here, by the denominator, 2.0 minus x, so I'm bringing that over on this side, uh, 2.0 minus x equals x. And now just factor that through. So I'm multiplying 4.82 times 2, that's the 9.64, and the 4.82 times the x here, so I have a minus 4.82x. Now I bring this x over, uh, bring the, add the 4.82x on, on both sides, so your x plus 4.82x is 9.64, and simplify that, so this is really like a 1x plus a 4.82x, so that's 5.82x. And then divide by the 5.82 on both sides, round to two sig figs, and you get 1.7. That's what x is. And what they asked for was the equilibrium concentrations of everybody. So the very last thing I have to do is once I solve for x, I have to go back to my ice table and plug everything into, uh, plug that x into the, the bottom. So I had, remember, well, I had 2.0 minus x, so now I know that x is 1.7. So 2 minus 1.7 is 0.3. This guy's also 0.3, and then these two are just x, because it was 0 plus x, and our x is 1.7. All right, so that was an example of when they give you the um, initial concentrations, and they give you the equilibrium, and you have to solve um, for, I'm sorry, they give you initial and k, and you have to solve for equilibrium. Okay, so in, uh, in this problem, let's see what they give you here. So they give you an equilibrium. An equation. As soon as you see that equation, go ahead and, and write the equilibrium constant expression. So products over reactants. Um, showing that you know something, you'll, you'll get at least some points for doing that. And they give us the K, uh, and they also give us the initial uh, pressure for our reactant. They don't tell us anything with the product, so those are going to be zero. 
Um, we're going to subtract here our reactant. So at equilibrium, we have 1.66 minus x. And over here, we're going to add x and add x. And again, this is this is a 1 to 1 to 1. So we don't have any coefficients, so that makes it nice and easy. Um, now I have one variable. I'm going to take all three of these things and plug them into the equilibrium constant expression. So I just take that bottom row, plug it in up here and solve for x. So I get, all right, so I have um, my product, so I have x squared over 1.66 minus x. Now I need to rearrange this in order to solve for x. This is gonna be a little bit more complicated, so I'm gonna multiply by the 1.66 minus x on both sides. I get x squared equals all this. Um, I start, I you know, just do a little bit of math here, multiply this through. We get that, um, bring these over to the other side, and set it equal to zero. So I'm trying to get it into uh, some standard form here, so I can use the quadratic formula in order to solve for x. So if you don't remember the quadratic formula, I will give that to you. Um, this is just how, you, if you have a quadratic equation, this is how you can solve for x. So x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And um, so how do you figure out what a, b, and c are? If you have it in this formula, if you have ax squared plus bx uh, plus c equals zero, then you know, right here, a is gonna be one because there's nothing in front of that number. This is gonna be b, 0.497, and then c is negative 0.825. Don't forget that negative. So here I have a, b, and c. So as long as you get this equation uh, into, into the right form, you just figure out what a, b, and c are, plug it into the quadratic formula, and you can kind of see this math here. So I have, um, you can have two, so you're going to have the positive root and the, and the negative one. So here I have negative b plus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Simplify this a little bit. So I solve for everything under the radical. So I have negative b plus the square root of all this divided by 2 should give you 0.693. Go ahead and work that out and, uh, and check your math. So pause that for a second. Make sure you're typing that into your calculator right. And then you want to do the same thing over here, except you're subtracting. So it's negative b plus or minus. This top one is the positive. This is the minus. Um, and here you end up with a negative number. So that's no good. You don't want to get the negative um, concentration. That doesn't make any sense. So x is just going to be from the, uh, from the positive group. Uh, you're gonna, you're always gonna get the, you know, a um, do the negative b plus the square root, and then do the negative b minus the square root. One of your answers won't make any sense. One will either be negative, or it'll be, um, it, it'll give you a negative concentration when you plug it back in. So now that we know what our x is, we can just take that, plug it back into our, our ice table. So wherever we had x, now we use the 0.693. So we had 1.66 minus 0.693, so we end up with 0.97. We lose a sig fig there when we're um, subtracting because we're looking at the number of decimal places. And over here we have 0.693 and 0.693.